my audio anymore. Maybe now, maybe now, maybe now. There we go. Bam. At least two other people know. It's true, Corn Dan. It's true. Can you share with your cat? Uh, your cat might run away. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to turn the audio down a little bit. This music is amazing, but that was a little loud for my taste. So, guess what? Today we have uh, Tina Hex going up against Lightyear. Which is going to be amazing. So good. Well, let's go ahead and move away from this music. I want to go ahead and do our reveal right now. What game could we possibly have? Well, I'll tell you what. It certainly is a game uh, that was made. Corn Dan decided to choose the game. Today, this is technically a game, and it is going to be called Maya the Bee, The Great Adventure. The Great Adventure, okay, for... Oh, wait, 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 no, we're actually doing Game Boy Color. Ignore Advance, and it's going to be the Garden Adventure, but it's Maya the Bee, uh, Game Boy Color. Let me, let me turn this right there. See, there we go, we've got it. Maya the Bee for Game Boy Color. Hello, Corn Dan. This game is a thing, you guys. You don't even know. They're getting a small taste of the music right now. I I need to switch back to Human Race, though, because we're going to hear an hour of this. And I'm not excited. <laughs> I, I kind of am excited, you know? <laughs> Maya the Bee! Maya the Bee! Uh, yeah, this was... It's a was European this? game by acclaim. Yeah, it was by acclaim. You know, so uh, how could it possibly go wrong? What could possibly be bad about this? It's just a good game. Now, uh, I do know that we had to do a redraw or two. How many redraws? Like three. And then you gave them Maya the Bee. <laughs> I, I tried not, like, not giving out Maya the Bee. It's a little bit Tina's fault. Oh, no. Uh, Tina? T T Tina has... Tina played everything I provided. Wow. Good job, Tina. If she had played Maya the Bee, I would have been shocked. If this, she'd have played Maya the Bee, I'd have just given up. This was right. definitely I, more of a new option on your part, right? Uh, yeah. Like, I imagine we'll see a completion uh, today. Uh, the game's not... Uh, super bad. It, well, well, no, it is, right? But what, what sold it's the music. Uh, I mean, yeah, the mu the the sound is something. You'll, you'll definitely hear. Now, Corn Dan, do you know who's doing game audio for us? Well, Tina did say that she will have no mic. Okay, I will plan on using Tina's audio for now. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so excited for this for multiple reasons. Because as soon as I heard the music for this, I was like, this is the worst. It's literally the worst music I've ever heard on the Game Boy Color. Uh, I, I, so, I, I want to point out that uh, on on Twitter there was an argument on how this ranks. 
uh, on a scale of bad to Sonic Spinball menu. Yeah, and my theory was Sonic Spinball, while objectively worse, you don't have to listen to it the entire time. Okay, Tina, I am ready for your audio whenever you are. Uh, feel free to turn it on. I do not hear anything from you. I'm going to turn, turn you down so it's not a huge shock for us, okay? <laughs> yeah, her Tina's music is very quiet. You can hear the music? I have to turn her up all the way, and then I can hear it. Okay. There we go. Let me know, chat, if we need to boost it a little bit. Thank you, Tina, for the, bo the bump. Because this music is something special. Th this music comes off like um, a group of people who are either used to doing C64 or GameQ or um, Game Gear Genesis development sort of thing, and then tried to apply that to the Game Boy Color. Yeah, and that's something special. <laughs> And instead, it, it literally sounds like we're farting all over the place. Okay, I am checking with them right now in Discord to see if they are ready to begin this madness. Maybe. It looks like Tina is good to go. Uh, this is looking... yeah. The, yeah, the Game Boy definitely farts in this game. Honestly, I'm turning the sound up a little bit because I like to be scarred. <laughs> <laughs> the music kills me! Oh my gosh! I think this was 100% chosen because of the music. Oh, oh, absolutely. Right, well, we'll uh, I'm certain we'll see completions. The game is mostly straightforward. I, I did get Cadis from his reference, the reference of mine, um, like the list of all the things you have to do in the whole game, uh, figuring we're going to get there. This is listenable compared to Auto Man. I don't know. I, I love that we have to have that conversation. Right, because there shouldn't be... We, we shouldn't even have to have that conversation. I know, right? Help Naya, the Hornets, blah, blah, blah. So, so the whole plot of this game is Maya's friend Willie gets um, kidnapped by the Wasps, and then you have to go save him. Oh, Willie. Uh, so, this was obviously aimed towards kids, right? It is. Uh, if you'd like, I can read to you the German review of the game. Yeah, go ahead and read it. I, I will read you the Google translation, so take it with a little bit of grain of salt. Okay. But developer okay. developer Neon Studios, uh, who made Mr. Nuts, knew how to interweave not-too-difficult puzzles cleverly with the course of graphically successfully presented events. Dialogues are short and understandable. The operation is very easy. Press A and Maya interacts with an object or buzzes through the air. Press B and Maya paralyzes her opponent with sticky pollen. Conclusion, honey sweet, target group oriented adventure fun with mature technology. Fun, fun. By the way, people are complaining that the music isn't as bad as we hyped it up to be, so I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> it's very important to me that you get the full Maya the Bee experience. Okay, I, I think that's going to be good. Yeah, this actually, depending on how some of this goes, this could maybe even be a quick completion. It could we'll see, possibly. We'll find out.
Oh my gosh. Yeah, so what are the current objectives in the game? Right. So they need to go get the pot of honey um, to um, go deliver it to the wasps. Okay, gotta deliver honey to the wasps. So, uh, Tina, for instance, is, is trying to, to go find the spot, right? They won't let you near the honey, um, the, the jugs, right? Only working bees are there, and you are not a working bee. Without a jug, so, I cannot carry honey. <laughs> yep. Wow, and the text box really likes to appear. <laughs> <laughs> What so, uh, Lightyear has to sneak past all the guards, because if you talk to the Queen, maybe she'll let you know. Uh, and so this is um, very... They describe it as Metal Gear Solid, but it's uh, it's a lot easier than that. You can, like, basically just don't run into the, the wasps and you're pretty much okay. As long as you don't walk into them, you're fine. Oh no, Tina! They're trying to stab you! Oh, okay, and then they just go back to their job. They're like, whatever, murder. <laughs> pretty no murder much. Today. Okay, it looks like Tina has made it to the Queen. Lightyear heading there right now. Nowhere to go. Don't have to sneak past this guard. Well, I guess you do. Well, you, you, you do, but you just, like, walk past him. He doesn't notice. So dumb. Well, I mean, he did try to stab Lightyear. Didn't do a good job there. Nope. Okay. Honestly, this is neck and neck right now. Yeah, and I imagine it will for a good portion of this. So now, they need to go get the jug and and go deliver it to the wasps. Fine, I'll turn the music down a little bit. I just needed to let you have the full experience, everybody. Because it's incredible. Like, I, I... As soon as I start playing it, maybe my phone's audio was turned up really loudly, but... It just wrecked me. Yeah, use the honey to free Willy! So right now, Lightyear has gotten the jug. Well, Tina just got the jug too, so there. Nice. Lightyear's a little bit ahead. Uh, but they need to go back to where the honey is and then just go, like, collect the honey. Okay. It looks like Lightyear is giving the honey to the hornets. And they're a little bit in the lead. And then yep. the hornets just leave? Just, wow. Just leave. Those jerks. The hornets tricked me. They did not set Willy free. Uh-oh. Drama! Dumb plot twist. Oh no, the hornets just walk away. Just walk they don't off. even fly know, away. Right? Yeah, they just walk off like, this is all good, and you just let them do it. Why would you just let them do that? You've got a stinger, I assume. We don't know. We don't see it. So, yeah, uh, like you're... Can anybody uh, confirm if Maya has a stinger? This is important. So, so Light, Lightyear just found out that you need to be friends with the ants. <laughs> and, and you gotta go find Puck. And, and Tina's struggling here because, um, depending on where you go east, um, right, like, she's missing... Um, out that that if she just goes east, she'll find everything. Yeah. Uh, but because she, she like kind of went like northeast, she did find Kurt. Kurt's important later. Yes. Uh, there's a potato that blacks away. Also important later. Just 
just gaining knowledge as you go through some of the games is very important. Uh, remember, this round we're not doing platformers, and uh, that was one of the things that we really want to do since most players here have pretty strong experience in platformers, and so we wanted to throw them for a loop. And this is a lot about finding things and remembering things. Honestly, uh, if Tina does not remember where Willy is, uh, it could be problematic. And Lightyear will have to figure out that, hey, backtracking is important. So, Lightyear's about to finish Chapter 1. Alright, they just got a password. And then 18. Ooh, the new Mega Man. <laughs> Uh, whereas Tina still needs to find... She found the glasses, but she still needs to find Puck. Okay, there's Kurt still. Oh no, the tomato thing was trying to stab Lightyear. Do you have health in this game, by the way? You do! So it, it's the hexagon... Um, basically at the center top of the screen. Gotcha, yeah. Sort of... Yeah, 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 I see it. It's it's like honey. You got six so, pieces of honey. Yeah. So Kurt or uh, Lightyear just found out the other piece of the the hole where right? you got to go down the hole. It's too dark for you to go down there. Uh oh. Puck the fly knows the way to the wasps. Oh, good. Okay. Lightyear, yeah, Lightyear's a little bit stuck at the moment. Which will give Tina a chance to catch up. Oh yeah. Um Can you kill things in this game? You can you can paralyze them using your pollen. Oh well that's not nice. This game's supposed to treat or teach you good things. Paralyzing isn't one of those. Oh, uh, okay, so my the B. Uh, here's the deal, so this game was so offensive to my ears uh, that, you know, I needed to know a little bit more about who made the music, and it's credited to a, something called Mind Bomb, which I have not been able to find any information about Mind Bomb. So I know nothing about this either, yeah. Yeah, if anybody um, knows what Mind Bomb is, then please help us. Anyways, this was this was made by the company Neon Software GmbH. Uh, they did make Mr. Nuts, they made some Santa Claus games, they made Mars Taxi. That sounds special. I kind of want to play Mars Taxi now. So, Lightyear is now really moving on. Um, they found the um, glow worm pollen, which lets them see in the dark. Ooh, nice. Who would have guessed that like, there was such good pollen uh, technology? They didn't want to be associated with this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Suburban so so crazy. It's like, you know, just thinking. They're like, we put this music out. This is what they wanted. This is what they approved. We're just gonna go ahead and. I don't think Lightyear though picked up the pollen. So it looks like Tina is still. What Tina needs to do is go back to talk to Kurt. Yes. And when she goes back and talks to Kurt, she'll find out that he has already moved the rock. Convenient. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, 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 wait. okay. Mind... What happens if I look up Mind Bomb... Amiga? I need to find out who made this music, okay? This is really important to me. I don't... 
I have opinions about this music, but I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> I feel conflicted. Uh -huh. Yeah, um... Like, somehow, I, I don't know if this has gotten better or worse. I don't know! I don't know! And, and, and part of it reminds me of Codemasters. It kind of does. So Lightyear found uh, the, the the glowworm pollen and is further down in the cave where they introduced um, a whole new mechanic that you can fly over the chasm. Which Lightyear's doing a pretty good job with. Okay, let's see. So Tina just found Jimmy. Jimmy. What a good, good name. At least it's not Jimmy so, from the Demon Brush, you know? Oh, man, this Jimmy is way better than that Jimmy. So it looks like this company has worked on a handful of games. Again, mostly European, mo all of them Game Boy Color. Uh, Janosh does gross Panama spiel. I don't know what that means. Pamuckles Abenter uh, Bay den Piraten. Oh, sounds like a pirate adventure. Uh, Pamuckles Abenter im uh, Geister Schloss. Whatever that means. Faizu, no. I love Alone in the Dark, okay, but this game is so bad. This, this game is like the perfect game for Cuso Grande. Oh yeah. Oh, these farts. So farty. Ooh, ghost so now, castle. Now Lightyear's in the hornet's nest. It has to find their way to basically the hornet king. So Lightyear is currently in the lead. Lightyear is currently in the lead. Uh, Tina is catching up though. Tina spent less time dealing with Jimmy than Lightyear did. Yeah. So. Basically, you know, Tina's like. <laughs> They're punching! <laughs> like, like one step behind, basically. I wonder what happens when you run out of health. That did not know. look like a walkable path on Tina's side, but okay. Oh, because it basically Tina. wasn't. <laughs> Tina's going the right way. She was going the right way, right where she wanted to be, but... How is this music? Who made... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. At least I can electrofart just as well as this game. I, I, I'm actually kind of impressed by how well uh, the Game Boy electrofarts. Yeah, I had no idea. It's shocking. Okay, Lightyear has found King of the Wasps or something. Just shot the king? That's not very nice. Maya, they're gonna stab you. They're gonna murder you. Maya. Oh, that's right, I was gonna look up if Maya the bee has a stinger. Okay. I need to find out if that's canon, her having a stinger. Maya the bee. So, so uh, the, the... What Lightyear just found that the... I'm gonna call it a boss fight against the King Hornet is literally freezes one guy and walk around, and, and, and then you're done. Okay. I have the plan oh. of the wasp nest and a new password. And a new password. So um, that'll put Lightyear on chapter three. There are five chapters here, so we will definitely see completions from both of these uh, players today. I think that's likely, yeah. 
Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't make it to 40 minutes. Okay, I'm trying to find information about Stinger. I do not see her having any Stinger. But there is a character named Sting, or Stinger. So, um, once you get the plan, right, you come back out, and, uh, the same guard that you already froze is like, you know, the, the king's like, she has the plan, stop him. You just walk past that guard. Right, it's like you're dead. You don't even need to, to attack him. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's see, we'll talk a little bit about chapter three. Chapter three, you have to go through the spider uh, turf and then find uh, Guppy the Magnet. Ooh. Who's winning? Uh, so we are. Who's winning? Uh, Lightyear is winning, but Tina's not really that far behind. Tina just needs to go right. But again, it's essentially a maze. You have to figure out where you need to go. Thank you, peeps, for the host. Oh. Okay, Tina is shooting the wops occasionally just so that she can get past them. And that's a. I mean, considering she has like no health left, not a bad idea. And she's got a lot of projectiles. Yeah, so Tina right is going to get right here to, um, it just goes north to here, right, where, and she'll be right at the, um, uh, the King Hornet. Yes. Um, uh, whereas Lightyear is on basically one of the few bosses in the game, Thecla the Spider, you just gotta throw... Um, pollen at Thecla until they give up. Oh, good. It's like, ugh, too much pollen. I'm getting out of here. Ugh. Lightyear just playing around on the spider. Air Decay, thank you so much for subbing. Hello, and I hope you like music. <laughs> yes, this is this is music. If you don't like music, you might enjoy this game. Okay, Tina opening the door and doing a little celebratory dance. It looks like Lightyear is a little bit stuck trying to figure out what to do now. You just gotta keep going. There we go. It just really wasn't clear whether the screen transition was. Yay, Tina has a password. Good, good. And she also has the plans to the be the, the hornet's nest. So, uh, Lightyear just found Juppy the Maggot. <laughs> How funny. Okay, and Tina's on the run! Run away, Tina! The wasps... You know what? I kind of like the wasp sprites. They look kind of adorable. Very angry eyes, but honestly, that sprite work is probably the best sprite work that I've seen in the game. Maya is not bad sprite work. I mean, I guess. She looked like she got sunburned, though, you know? Especially, I'm looking at Tina's screen. Like, Maya got crispy yeah. crittered. Yeah, there, there's a different palette going on on Tina versus Lightyear's screen. So, so the the um, the chapter three music is, I think, the best music so far. Oh boy, I'm excited to hear the Corn Poppy Meadow. Do you want to go to Corn Poppy Meadow?
Okay, the spider <laughs> music is okay-ish. Kind of. Oh no. Okay, Tina is learning that you have to fly across the webs. How do you fly? Because... You, you just hit A. You just hit A? That's your jump? That's your jump. Okay. As long as Tina just keeps going, Tina will run into Tekla the spider. Yep. It's a little bit scary with only this much health, but I will snatch her. Tekla the spider, yeah. What a great name. Oh, and there goes Tina. We're going to see our first death. Oh, oh it's no. just straight up a game over. Wow, that's oh, kind no. of brutal. At least it automatically does, um, puts in the password for you, and she was just at the start of, um, Chapter 3, so she wasn't missing so much, but that's still a big setback. Yeah, it wasn't too much. Unfortunately, it looks like the password does save how much health you have. And that could definitely or trip or players up as time one. goes on. What's that? Or it just gives you one health. I mean, that's a possibility, but this is how much health Tina had before. So is Lightyear still on Chapter 3, or is this Chapter 4? This is Chapter 4. Okay. Uh... Right, because Lightyear got Juppy to go eat the potato. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good. So now, good job. So now they're in the ants' um, nest, right? Because now now that you have the wasp plan, you are friends with the ants? Yes. How convenient, you know? Oh, you know, I know, right? You know your way around the wasp place? Well, you can be our friend. Right. And so now, they've got to go do ant stuff. It looks like Tina is trying to get some extra items and pickups so that uh, she can last a little bit longer in the spider area. Not a bad idea. These electro farts, man. They kill me. Ugh. Look at how great the ant, I think that's the ant queen is. You, see, you, know, you saw it only briefly on, on Lightyear's side, that is amazing. Oh, I didn't see her, I missed it. I assume we're going to see her again, though. I think so. Okay, time to fight the spider, Tina. That spider sprite's so good. It's I don't even know what's up with that face. Neither do I. It's, it's something. <laughs> like, like that spider has like a, a human face. It's a good looking face, you know? Hey, okay, Tina getting some hits on the spider lady. Unfortunately taking a hit herself. I like the, like, cutscene music. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I, I tell you, that that, that totally sounds like uh, uh, America or Codemasters sort of music. It really does, yeah. Mercy! Good job, Tina. You killed <laughs> the bug. I saw the, her. The look on her face was amazing. Yeah, Tina does have a camera up, and... Uh, he was pretty amused by the spider death. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Tina's out of flowers. It's not a huge deal. There we go. I don't even I don't even know what the flowers do. They help you fly. From what I understand. Oh, okay. I think they're the required flying item.
Maybe, but I just saw Tina fly anyway. I don't know, Cornhead. I don't know, but the Hornet, the Hornet King is sending more guards to the pumpkin patch. No! Okay, there's a sad little worm. Aww. Don't be so sad. That is a sad looking worm. The saddest worm I've ever seen. Tina well, you know, is doing great health-wise, by the way. Oh no, in chat, this explains a lot of things. Aiming to become a console developer, Neon struck a deal with publisher Ocean Soccer Limited. Oh no. Don't touch Ocean. <laughs> I'm glad other people are enjoying the music here. Alright, so Tina found the pumpkin that blocks her path, so now I think she needs to go back to talk to... Yay! Wow, she did this part really quickly. Maggots can yeah. go. Like, there's still a chance that Tina can catch up. Lightyear is definitely in the lead. <laughs> what? So the frog doesn't really need anything. Uh, but, but Lightyear did get eaten by the frog. Lightyear? Don't get eaten by frogs. Not the healthiest thing in the world. Uh, so, this specific publisher, uh, the German, uh, publishing company, from what I can see, you know, they, they worked with Acclaim. Uh, they published, it looks like, Escape from Camp Deadly, for the Game Boy, uh, which we all know pretty well. Krusty's Super Fun House. Uh, Batman Forever for Game Boy. Mortal Kombat 3 for Game Gear. You know, so they, they, they worked on a lot of fantastic games here. So, um, Lightyear just found uh, the, the bug eating plant that has um, eaten Flip. So, all you gotta do is hit it with a stick. Fortunately, there's a stick just south of the plant. Oh, well, nice. That's convenient. Well, you know, it's out in the wilds. There are gonna be sticks all over the place. Might as well just grab the closest one you can. The music! So, um, Lightyear just finished up Chapter 4 by saving Flip. Oh, good job. Now, on to the final chapter for Lightyear. Tina on to the still, final chapter. Still a little bit behind, but Tina's starting to get through this. She Tina is actually, is, she's catching up. Yeah. Um, that, that Tina definitely um, has caught on to a lot of the way that this, some way this game works. Yeah, it it seems like they're which very... Is, oh, go ahead. Which is not surprising. Tina is very good at bad games and picks up a lot of things. But to uh, be fair, Lightyear uh, is fantastic as well. Yeah, and, and, and it shows. I mean, Lightyear is basically a whole chapter ahead at this point in time. Um, yeah. But who knows what's going to happen in the end. Okay, was that the queen? Help, Paul! Gotta go to the stockpile, Tina. It, it, you know, Tina also plays some very good games, right? But Tina has played a lot of, of questionable games. A few. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say that every game that Tina plays is bad. Um, Tina's been playing a lot of uh, La Milana, and, you know, it's a lot of fun to watch her play that. As well as oh, Agalos. Yeah. She's been playing a lot of that recently. So Lightyear just healed the worm. Oh, and there he goes, right into the ground. So, 
Tina's not that far behind. She just needs to go find the worm and then go find the, the mushroom in the swamp. Yeah, that's not too much, but she, she's it's also got to get the stick and help flip. So let, let's talk about Flip, how Flip seems to be like the most useless NPC in this whole game. Oh yeah. Like Flip does nothing to help you out at all. Sorry, I'm sitting here enjoying this, this fantastic music. Oh yeah. Catch her! Uh oh, they gotta go after her. The music hurts so much. It hurts so <laughs> much. Okay, Lightyear is into another area with wasps. Yeah. Look at how angry the wasps look. Oh, these ones have red eyes, you know, they're fierce. What have you stumbled into? This is Maya the Bee. Oh, that one has a whip? Oh jeez, that's not very nice. This music is a little bit of a step up. Kinda. It still hurts. It, in some ways, it hurts more. Like, but it's still sort of better. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Lightyear grabbing some... more of the pollen. Why why do you use pollen as projectiles? Because you have it. You're it's available. So Lightyear just got the gear wheel. Um which you need to um you, you need to get a crank. Right, to to go save your friend Willie. Yes. Uh, so you gotta use the gear wheel to, to go put it in a machine so that, you know, you, you can do things. Because that's, that's how this game works. Okay, there we go. We put the... Now, here's, oh. here's the stupid thing, right? Like, every other thing in here, um, right, goes away after you use it. Not this gear wheel! doesn't go away. It. Yeah, don't don't question it. It's still in Lightyear's inventory. Okay. Do you use the gear later? Again? You will. What the crap? Okay, Lightyear, you gotta free your friend. Oh, is that Willy? That's Willy. So, so you have to get the key, right? So, so never mind. Yeah. Or you have to get a key and the crank, right? So you can you can crank down Billy because because clearly you can't you can't grab him. Uh. So you need to basically I what I think Lightyear hasn't done is I'm not sure that they turned on the machine because I believe it opens up the the bars. Tina got eaten by a frog. So Tina's going the right way. Yes. All she needs to do is go west from there. Oh, come on, Tina. You can do this. Don't play around with the frog. She's starting to get a little bit frustrated, I think. Just trying to figure out exactly where she needs to go. There we go. No! What?! No! No! Maya just stopped flying! Wow. That is that is not not good. That's gonna really set her far back. Yeah, it, it, That that death, you know, everything else. Without that death, she could have maybe caught up. I'm not honestly not too sure. 
Yeah, Lightyear is still really far ahead. I think he's right near the end. He is. So, Willie's cage hangs on the crane. You need the crank. Well, where's the crank? It's behind a locked door. Oh, convenient. In that locked door, like, up at the front of the, the, the hornet's nest. Or wasp's nest, or whatever. Yep. Oh, like you're walking right into spikes. Want to watch out for those. The key fits. Well, how convenient. How convenient. Even more convenient, there's a crank! Literally right there. Okay. Like you're gonna return and use the crank. Oh my gosh. Maya the Bee is an anime. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it's a cartoon. Eh, close enough, you know? Here we go, Lightyear has lowered the cage. Unfortunately, no, this has nothing to do with the B movie, but that's okay. Yeah, Lightyear freed their friend. Okay, is that it for Lightyear? I don't know. Let's go ahead and Looks watch. Looks like it. Finally home. Yeah. So I'm thinking oh, that this is going to be the end. I think this is the end. Do we have an end screen? Credits! You know what? I'm calling time. That, that is, is it. Wow. What a game, Corn Dan. <laughs> this game was amazing. I mean, while it was amazing, holy cow. Ah, but yeah, Lightyear managed to pull ahead pretty early in this match and just held that lead. Tina, unfortunately, with two game overs, uh, was set really far back and unfortunately takes second today. Yeah, I think, the, I mean, those two game overs are what did it. When, you know, even where Tina was behind, she was catching up very quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, Whoa, so... Cool. Um, yeah, Corn Baby just woke up from his nap. Okay, it looks like Lightyear is currently uh, playing through the credits. Tina acknowledged that the match is over. I think she's going to be hopping into voice chat. Yeah, congratulations, Lightyear, for taking the victory there. Oh, I'm... I love Tina. Like, personally, uh, I know Tina pretty well, and she did a fantastic job. Hi, Tina! Hey, that sure was a video game. <laughs> it, it was a video game, yes. It is legally interactive software. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, somebody made this. Hello, Lightyear! Hello, Brasentia. Hey, uh, yeah, so thoughts about the game here? Ah... Uh, just fetch quest after fetch quest. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The, the whole game is one big fetch quest. I know. You get the entire objective at the start. Free. Well, that's how it starts with basically a hostage negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> Maya the bee, everyone. That, that, that Maya does a terrible job with, by the way, by just like gaining over what they wanted right away and got nothing out of it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, Lightyear, you managed to blaze through this. I know Tina 
Uh, unfor oh, the last death, Tina, was so dumb. Okay. Oh my gosh, that that frog screen just had my number. Uh, I don't know what was happening. I don't know if you have to like mash B. I was holding it and I was still drowning. So. Oh no. Yeah, I. So. Oh, go ahead. Uh, all you had to do, Tina, when you made it up to that northwest like island, was just go west. Yeah, I I had a feeling, but there were power ups over to the right. <laughs> <laughs> They lured you to your demise. <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's completely fine. What about opinions about the music? How did you feel about the music? It was jamming. <laughs> what good music? I think my favorite there was one was stuff the that really almost low. Could be music, like almost. The really low fart one that's like. <laughs> yeah, <but> yeah. <laughs> the ant, or what is it? The um, mole cave or whatever? No, the yeah. first person. I, I, I want you guys to know, we, we talked about this a little bit while you are playing, that there is now an argument on Twitter on how this ranks from bad to Sonic Spinball menu music. Oh, this is... This is definitely on that scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I'm thinking, if you played this as a kid... What would your emotions be? I'm I'm a little bit curious. Hmm. Any ideas? Because obviously it was made for kids. You know. Yeah. Maya the Bee, Garden Adventures, la di da di da. Whatever you call somebody that literally does nothing but fetching things for other people, anybody who asks, I would be ready for a career in that. I would be excited. <laughs> for that career. Oh, somebody should give that to me, even if it's just for food. I I, I think that's called Grubhub. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Uh, you I, know, think it is. I think I'd be okay with it as a kid. Go there, meet your friend, and keep going. That, yeah, that's true. There's, there's a lot of friendship in this game. Yeah. <laughs> you would learn important lessons about moving and maybe not eating your own house. Don't eat your own house, <laughs> folks. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, Tina, you are eliminated from the tournament, but hit me up. I'll get you $20 worth of Steam games and Faithful Findings by Neil Breen. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his movies. I'm actually a fan of Neil Breen. You are? Do you have Faithful Findings already? I... Uh, not in physical form, no. Oh, well, we can get that. Uh, I mean, he hand writes on the... No, 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 he doesn't. On the envelope, he hand writes, and then the uh, DVD cover looks like it was printed out in the 90s, you know, it's... That's fair, but still, it gives it that personal touch. <laughs> and, Definitely uh, personal. And it's, it's really important to have that, especially from such an esteemed desert hacker. As Neil Breen. He, he's good at hacking in the desert, you know, that's all he does. Ah. Well, Lightyear, congratulations, you're moving on to the gauntlet. So, oh boy. <laughs> oh, we're very excited to see what happens in that Congratulations. The, the gauntlets. Um... I personally am very excited to be back in the Game Master position now. Oh yeah, you can help choose games again. <laughs> 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 I love it. Well, you know what? I am done for today. I'm going to be grading papers and eating food and probably watching more Cutthroat Kitchen because why not? Uh, so let's go raid somebody. I'm going to try to think who are we going to do. L Rock is actually doing their uh, 50 subscriber special right now. So let's go raid them. Do we have a good raid message? Did Maya have any words of inspiration here? Oh, what was weird. the one, like, right one. on, like, why are you so sad? That could work Yeah, too why are you so sad? Right at the beginning, that was super good. Why are <laughs> you so sad? Okay, cool. I am putting that in chat so people can go raid with that message. Tell Elrock, thank you again, Tina and Lightyear. Yeah, thank you, and good game again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for such a yeah, good game, Tina. And I appreciate the help, Corn Dan. This was a blast. Always. I am always willing to find games that I'm going to regret later.